Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the main parts of Edublogs and teaching you how you can use it in your classroom. Edublogs is a website where you can easily create student and teacher blogs and you can post videos, pictures, and podcasts. It is a quick, easy, and safe way to contact students to give them information. There are many ways to use Edublogs in the classroom. You can share material, news, links, worksheets, etc. with your students by using pictures, videos, or podcasts, or simply typing something and posting it. You can also have online group discussions with them. This is helpful if you have several students that don't understand something. This website is a great way to contact your students and is a lot quicker than email or text because when you post it, it goes to all the students at one time. So to create an account, first you're going to go to edublogs.org. Then you're going to click on sign up. For your username, you're going to want to choose something that's easy to remember. If it says username already registered, just add some numbers or change it a little. For your, you're going to put in an email and then a password. Your blog domain is the username that everyone is going to see. So make it short and easy for people to remember. And this can be changed after your account is created but your username cannot. The blog title is the title of your first blog. For English, your English is already selected on the language section but you can change it to a different language. For blog type, you're going to choose teacher. And this section, you're going to type what's in this box so that they know you're not a robot. and then you're going to check in this box saying you agree with the terms of service and then you're going to click on start blogging I've already created an account so I'm going to go back to log in but there should be a box that pops up with your username and password you should write these down so you don't forget them and then click on log into your new blog and enter your information again and your account will be created and it should look like this when it pops up to change the theme of your blog first go to your dashboard and then simply hover over appearance and click on themes You can customize your current theme by clicking on your current theme and clicking on customize, or you can choose a different one. To customize your current theme, go hover over your current theme and click on customize. There should be a sidebar with different options. If you select site title and tagline, you will be able to change the title of your site and add a subtitle. If you click on colors, header image, or background image, you can change the color scheme of your current theme. The static front page is the first thing that will pop up when someone is viewing your page. If you don't want a static front page, just click on your latest post and it will make it your latest post. If you want a certain thing to be your front page, click on a static page and select what you want. If you don't like your current theme or just want a different one, there are hundreds to choose from. Just choose one and click activate and edit it like I showed you before. And we will get to widgets later.
to add a new post, hover over posts and click on add new. The first thing you will do is enter a title. Next, you can type up the body of your post. If you want to preview what your post will look like, click on preview. Once you are happy with your post, you can click on publish. If you are not quite ready to post it, you can click on save draft, but it won't save, it'll save what you have so far, but it won't post it. To add a new page, hover over pages and click on add new. You can do the same thing that you did with the post, add a title, add a body, pre preview, publish, or save. The editing tools are the same for posts and pages. Beginning, begin by hovering on either posts or pages and click on all posts or all pages. Hover over the post or page that you would like to edit and click on edit. There are many things that you can do to edit a post or page. By clicking on the B, you will bold a word. If you click on the I, it will italicize the word. This button is for if you want to cross through a word or phrase. You just click on it and it should look like that. This will add a bulleted list and this will add a numbered list. This is for an indented quotation. This will change the location of your word or phrase. You can put it to the right to the left or to the center. You can insert or rem remove things with these two and this will split or this will get rid of this bar over here and it will look like never mind this this <laughs> this is a read more tag so you can put it on there. This is to remove this bar down here. This edits the your post. This will underline a word or phrase. This changes the color of your word or phrase. This you can paste. This clears all formatting. This is to insert a Greek letter, Spanish letter, etc. This outdents and indents. And these are to undo and redo. And this is the help button. And by clicking on add media, you will be able to select things from your computer files. When you are ready to publish, click on publish. Preview will preview, and save draft will save it, but it won't post it. And you can do the same thing with pages. Also, this is the one that takes away this bar if it distracts you and it will change your thing and it will look like this and to get out of it you just do this okay so widgets are these things on the side of your site to manage your widgets go to your dashboard
if it will go to my dashboard. Okay, sorry about that. But hover over appearance and go to widgets. The available widgets are all the widgets that you can put on your sites, and these are the places where you can put them. To put the widgets on your site, drag them under your pla the place where you want them, and just click. And you can change the order that they go in, so I can move this here, and this here, yeah. If you want to keep a widget, but don't want to use it at the moment, just drag it to inactive widgets, and it will keep all the, it will keep the things that you have for the widget, but it won't delete them, so it, it won't put them on your site, but it'll keep them. To edit the widget, click on the arrow. You can put a title on it, and you can delete the widget, close the options for the widget, and if you click on this, it will close the options, but it won't save them, so be very careful. And then save will save the changes that you made to your widget. When someone comments on your post or page, there will be a number next to the comments tab. To view the comment, simply click on the tab. If you like the comment, you can click on approve and this comment will be visible to the public. If you do not like the comment, you can click on spam or trash. You can also edit the comment if you want to change it. Well, that's all. I hope this I hope this video helped you and that you will be able to use edgy blogs without any trouble. Thanks for watching.